Got to watch Connor on these on the first uh, first two turns here. McDavid, the odds-on favorite. He has reached the top speed of 23.58 miles per hour this season. His average speed. This is where he had done, excels. Right? Oh, Look at that. Oh, that <laughs> this just looks different. Look at his feet. Never stop moving. This Never just stop looks moving. different. Never stop moving. Well. There's a winner, winner, chicken parm dinner. The ability for him to hold the edges in the corners at top speed is what separates him from most of the players in the National Hockey League, and that was on full display right there. He grew up in the Toronto area. He did nick a couple pylons, mess, but those things are light. Didn't affect him at all. <laughs> Didn't affect him. One Fourth win in him. this competition, most all time. He can, uh, like I said, if he puts his if he puts his heart into it and he really goes for it, I don't think he's a faster skier in the National Hockey League, and this is why right here, watching his feet through the corners, but being able to hold the edge at top speed, a lot of strength, a lot of skill. First star in the month of January, second in league scoring, and on pace for his biggest goal total ever. That one missed high, and there's a couple to get him going. Again, kind of not going a full slap shot. He's got these stick up, but then it's really just a little snapper, and that one was a four-pointer. Yep, just beautifully put. See how he delays it, just brings it down, and it's a snapshot one time. Couple four pointers there and another to get him going. He's up to 16. Didn't like the pass there. Nineteen, and there's your leader now as he put that one top G's for four more and 23 points. So there's the accuracy part we were talking about. You, you know, in a game you've got players all around, you got a goaltender, you try to power it through. This has all been about positioning and you know, Nathan McKinnon just taking that time and getting even down on one knee there to make sure that's the most of the four pointers we've been able to keep watching Big Walt across the us. How do you think he's enjoying this? Oh, he's loving it. He's having a great time. And uh, you know, we had a great time last night being able to, you know, share this together. And, and of course, tonight and tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, Brady. Fellas? Yeah, we talk about the Hughes as one of those great American hockey families. Put like a Chucks right there. Keith should be in the Hall of Fame. Most career goals by a guy who isn't in the Hall of Fame. Matthew and Brady's full-fledged superstars themselves. Elias Patterson now nine points See what he does across the ice. He goes for the big boy Now he'll go middle to get some points. He'll go so he opts to go to the middle ones mess Make sure I keep accumulates up to 16. Yeah, you just got to get points You can't get a puck here especially at this point of the competition or the event there and not get any points Oh, Ooh. that was a good shot there. You better hurry. Very nice. good. Very oh, good. Stumble. Stumble. Bumble. And oh! Nice. <laughs> we have a new leader. You gotta finish strong in this competition. You gotta finish strong. Those last six shots are key. That was impressive from Pedersen. What a year he's having in Vancouver. That's a good number to post for the first one. Here's Gail McCarr in his third event. Oh, oh, that's a good number. There's the number. Whoa, 102.5. Oh, I think God. there were some wondering if we get triple digits this year. Well, there's your defenseman, and he just walked into that one, and that placement of the shot was just perfect, about a foot and a half off the ice. Can he better it? 101.4, but 102.5 his summer work is doing this drill right here so this could be an advantage for him because this is what he trains on this is one of his suggestions to the NHL when the two sides got together to try to make this skills competition a little better for the fans create some drama some nervousness maybe for the players because they're playing for one million bucks no one does this part look, of the look at the look at the speed he does it with now he's gonna wheel quickly whoa little stump on the edge there you can, see the you can see the transition is not quite as smooth as, as, as the defenseman. Right. But it's still not too bad. <laughs> Kale McCarr would do this one as well. Matt will try to, he's going to beat Hughes. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. <laughs> the acceleration is just insane. He is clearly taking this seriously. Oh, he, he does everything. He wants to win this like, more than anybody out there, I believe. A little stumble on the left <laughs> skate there. really poured on. McDavid wants to continue getting points. He wants the overall championship. One for one. Two for two. 
three for three. Can he do it? Yes! Oh, tremendous. Oh, and quick. And you see this, uh, the way he shot it with velocity? 9.158, the new leader. All right, man. You said go low first. He actually oh. went in order. He did. He, he went around the clock. Yeah, went around the, clock around the world. Boom. Really like the way he attacked the target. So remember, he already has two firsts tonight. That's one of the tiebreakers later. Is how many firsts you get if you're tied with the guy in total points. So he talks to Kale McCarr there at live scoring in out this competition. The one who makes the most saves wins one hundred thousand dollars. Does not count against the salary cap, Miss. <laughs> uh, lander oh, and hustle pays off. First five pucks are worth a point. Shots under the hash marks only. Can't tell. Oh, did you get that one? Two more pucks for Nylander. He's moving well. Oh, oh big save by save. Talbot. He's going to have a new coach when he goes back to work. Oh, beautiful finish there by Nylander. Got three points so far. These pucks are worth two points. And you got to go all the way back to the blue line to pick them up. As many shots as you want. 30 seconds left. Oh, man, Talbot looks good. I can see where fatigue is going to come into a little bit of play Absolutely. here. This is Another save by Talbot. It's tough to score against these NHL goalies. Oh, the legs there, yep. Beautiful shot. 9-1-1 save percentage for Talbot. Now D. Leonard can finish this as the clock runs out. Oh! oh! In honor of Peter Forsberg, he ends with the postage stamp Olympic goal. And he is gassed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good drill. That's a good drill. We're going to incorporate that into the practice yeah. session. Mites, squirts, peewees, <laughs> everyone. Good for cardio. Good for skating. Here's the first one, Mess. Yeah. Just at the yes, skates. Yes, he got a couple through the legs. Saw a little opening there. Yeah, straight through the legs. That was a yeah. good shot there. Oh, and look at this. the final move. The first of eight one-on-one -on -one shootout skaters. <laughs> this is Blade Falls off the skate. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, my goodness. He's going hard. Oh, poke check. <laughs> Great poke check. Oh. Now he's got him thinking about yeah, getting too close now. Can't get too tight. Exactly. That was the first poke check of the night. Was it in Connor's brain? Another, oh, another one. one, I tell you. That, the that goalie should it. play without a stick in this competition. <laughs> That'd be skill. Oh, oh that was a good shot. Look at him cover ground. He's going to work two points. Oh. With this speed, he probably has time for four more. incredible the amount of ground he's got. Oh, trying to go five ball. No. Six saves. Because of the speed of McDavid, Georgiev can pick up a number of saves. That's seven. He's two saves away from winning 100 he's grand. He's going to get a two shot. He is. He is. Oh, so Georgiev will win 100 grand if he makes this save. It's a $100,000 save for Georgiev. Oh, oh he's checked it again. <laughs> Nine of 11, and he wins $100,000. The poke check was his friend. Kept him away from the deke. Again, he wins 100 grand courtesy of the poke check, mess. Right there, you can see him. That changed his old attempts for McDavid. There were some of your opponents who poke checked well against you back in the day. Oh, getting crowned. And He's got the most skilled player. 47.2. We've That's been, his time. We've been debating it, but now we're going to find out. Well, a lot of people called this the Connor McDavid Invitational. If there was no salary cap on the range, we'd be paying him $50 million. So this is a way, a way to get Connor an extra million bucks. Ooh, Let's uh, see. I think he wants to win. 47 seconds for a million dollars. That's a good start. Oh, just misses the, this is the narrow one. This is the hardest one. He got it. Now, this is an easy one for him. That's a piece of cake. He's going to do it. Just don't fall down, Connor. You're going to win a million dollars. Don't fall down, Connor. Put the biscuit in the basket. 
$1 million shot. Here it is. Oh, no problem. <laughs> what a performance. What a performance by what we thought was the best player in the National Hockey League. It's debatable, maybe for some, but now we know, Bucci. Incredible. Incredible. I love the competing. One million dollars to Connor McDavid, the man who helped reimagine the event, bring some juice, some drama. Mission accomplished. How about the professionalism, though, the compete that he's shown? Just incredible. And A little rough through the stick handling portion. Barzell was probably ahead of him at this point, but McDavid. At the first net, and then finished off no problem. Just, just had to finish it off here. That was a, unbelievable. Unreal. What a performance.